So, if you watched my Galaxy S21 review video, you'll know how much I love the theme on SwiftKey called Samsung Adaptive. The issue is that it's only available on the Galaxy S21 series. So in this video, I'll show you how to get on most older Samsung phones. And in this video, I'll use my old Note 10 Plus for demonstration. I've asked SwiftKey support on how to get the theme, but they weren't really helpful. So after decades and years of research and development, I've finally realized how to get the theme on older Samsung phones. I've realized not only did SwiftKey come pre-installed on the S21 series, but if you use an APK extractor, you'll notice that the S21 came with a second app called Samsung SwiftKey Factory Settings. This is actually the system app that's responsible for the theme itself. So firstly, uninstall the SwiftKey app, And secondly, download the SwiftKey Factory Settings APK. I've extracted it from my S21 Plus and I'll put a link in the description. Download it and install that APK. After installing the APK, go to the Play Store and download SwiftKey. After downloading it and finishing up the setup process, you'll notice that you have a new theme called Samsung Adaptive. I think that this theme looks a million times better than the standard Adaptive theme. It looks so much cleaner, it looks modern, and it kind of looks like Gboard, which is a good thing. This is all thanks to the Samsung and Microsoft partnership. If you didn't know, SwiftKey is actually owned by Microsoft. As far as I know, this theme is exclusive to the S21 series, as mentioned before, and maybe the Note 20 series, but I'm not 100% sure. And I'm not 100% sure if this theme works on Android 10 and below, since I haven't tested it. If it does work on older Android versions, then let me know down in the comments below. It is possible that with the One UI 3.1 update, it may come to older devices, but you don't need to worry about that since you've watched this tutorial, you can get the theme on most old Samsung phones. So if anyone's going to create a similar tutorial to mine's, I would appreciate it if you could credit me. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Bye.